Any of you have any idea what this is? This is what I'm seeing in the night sky. This is insane. And there's supposed to be... It's like one of those little blinking lights that's like... Um, oh, they kind of look like you know that they're part of space links or something. So... I'll put my camera on. Look what it's doing. Well, this thing came really close to us last Tuesday night. We were having a meeting at the park. And it came as if it was actually listening and watching to watching us. And it and it was red. And then it kind of like it was odd, and I didn't get a video of it because. The thing was at home. Look at the other blinking thing. What is this? I just came out to go ask the kids next door if they could stop pounding or playing whatever it is they're doing, but I don't listen. I don't know how to deal with it because I've been up for almost 14 hours. I had a real bad migraine yesterday. I couldn't even walk out in the sun. It was that bad. And I didn't, it felt like my head, ooh, did you see that? I did not touch anything on this camera. Not a thing. <laughs> I'm serious. I didn't expect it to do that. I think the thing, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> it just, what is it? Let's see if it'll do that again. Anyway, I was just going to go over there and see if I could talk some sense into the family next door. They're, they're being evicted. I've been just terrorized now for eight years. We spent so much money taking care of them and not received. I think I've had $120 in the last eight years. Just want, want, take, take. Just destroyed the truck the last week before last. Literally. <sighs> Drove it right up onto a guardrail on the freeway. <sighs> Said that somebody else stole it. I mean, there was three stories. I just can't. I just. I did take the boys to go skating at the skating rink. Saturday night, but I'm not doing that again. Um, it was a decent place. See that little blinking one there, too? Are they... Where is this coming from? I have no idea. Um, if you look at my video that has 3D... Satan's Kingdom is the story of my three encounters with aliens. Um, when I was very young. And then I end up getting married. Traveling around in the service with my husband. Whoa, did you see that? Oh my gosh, what is it? What in the world is doing that? Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Anyway, yesterday I was screaming, You're crazy! You're crazy! My head hurt so bad. My skull felt like it was in being squashed. I I've never felt the feeling, but I didn't have a lot of pain either with it. Anyway, I... I gotta upload this to Mr. MBB333. This is unreal. And I just came out to look at that little blinking red one. You can just barely see it. Hey, maybe I can zoom in closer. I don't know if I want to. What is it? Oh 
I'm holding this pretty steady too. My gosh. I don't, you know, normally, normally we, um, you know, I could see stars fall. Sorry, I had to switch arms. My, my neck's fused in a couple of places. And so it's not easy to do this part. It's fused C4 and five and six. Um, a lot of times I want to go down to the beach and try and do live and all those kind of fun things, but whoa. There. I don't see anything other than the little um whoa. What is doing that? I am not doing anything. Anyway, after we moved here after, I don't know, 17 years of traveling around in seven countries and 27 states, and uh, we were down, our last base was at Homestead Air Force Base. Guys, look at what it's doing. I can't believe it. I'm about ready to put my elbow on my car because I keep thinking I'm doing it, but I'm not. I'm not doing anything. Anyway, um, we were we were talking to a bishop down at Homestead, and two years prior to it, they built the stake center, and the stake president said the Lord wants that wall torn down, and he wants it double thick, and they, they used four foot thick columns of coral from the Atlantic side of the stake center in Homestead. Anyway, we were at a dance at church, and we asked our bishop, we were talking to him about where we were going to retire. And he says, when God made this earth and he finished making Hawaii, he took what was left over and made Miami Beach. If God lives anywhere, it's in Hawaii. If Satan lives anywhere, it's in Miami Beach. Get out of here as fast as you can. So we retired here and we were pretty, pretty like 50,000 in debt or something. And we moved in with his mom and dad. I call them outlaws <laughs> because let me tell you, it's been crazy, but um, we stayed close to the gospel and the Lord. But one night I woke up, it was about two years later, and we'd added on and we were to the back of the house and we were all sleeping in this big king size bed. Our kids just stayed with us so they wouldn't die in some crib and you know, and I woke up one night and my son was not there and he was about six and um, I looked everywhere. I could not find him. It was 1130 at night so I finally went outside to look and he was standing on that corner over there fully dressed. Let's see if it's still there. Yep, it's still there, fully dressed in his clothes and in some kind of trance. And I walked him back home, put him in his jammies, put him in bed. Two weeks later, he told me that a spaceship landed in this intersection and um, that the men in the neighborhood went with him, but he didn't go. I don't know, he might have been seven because I think it was shortly before he was baptized and uh, we were able to put a wall in the hallway and separate the house anyway I did not expect this the thing that came looking at us when we were having a meeting last Tuesday was um, well, that's why I don't move anywhere else because they they kind of know where I'm at and the story of my oil painting will explain that. Um, I've been faithful and 
active in the church for 51 years. And I've never seen such craziness. I mean, it's a lot better than it used to be. But I don't think anybody trusts anybody else except for family. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't want somebody on my boat that's going to rock my boat and tip it over. You want people you can trust, people that have skills, stuff like that. You know, I've worked in dentistry. I can work in a lab. I can make dentures. You know, I can take care of stuff like that. I can sew. Um, as a matter of fact, I have some quilts to finish. I'm trying to get the table cleared off and a bunch of other stuff thrown out. These kids are so rowdy on the other side of the wall. Uh, and I think the sheriffs are coming. They'll let Dan know when. I'm just tired. I need to be horizontal, not vertical. I do not give up hope. I found my scriptures. I thought they were lost or I had given them to somebody. And I was cleaning off the end of the couch and every time I start cleaning stuff up, it ends up in another pile somewhere else. Anyway, I have paperwork I have to work on tomorrow and keep on throwing things away. Oh, what is it? Where is it coming from? I don't even see it up there. I see this thing right here. Right, maybe that is it. Well, then that thing that I see that's blinking is actually this. Whoa. Anyway, I heard that they can they can see right through your walls, know what you're doing. And I was listening to a really good man tonight, and he said, if the feds come for you, just, just stand on your Fifth Amendment. Make sure you got an attorney that you can call on if you need help. You don't have to say nothing to nobody. Don't even go to the door is what one person suggested. But they're not going to do that. Uh, you know, but people that have free minds, I don't know. I, I don't want to say anything. I just want you to know that I love you. Heavenly Father loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. That's a lot of love. And if there's something to go in the pot, God can keep it full. People just better bring their coconut. Because I'm not providing bowls for everybody. <gasps> Did you see how it moved out so it's further away? How did it do that? I did not adjust anything on the camera. All I'm doing is changing hands. So it quit blinking on us. Well, the other thing, oh, there's clouds coming in. Maybe it can't do its show. That was strange. Okay, 14 minutes is enough. Bless your hearts. Put on the armor of God, the whole armor of God. Okay. <laughs>